This is the story of a trade route that changed the world. A route that was over 5,000 miles long. It began with a single commodity. A material spun from the cocoon of a moth that became the clothing of emperors. This was the Silk Road. It ran all the way from China's ancient capital through Central Asia, through mythical cities such as Samarkand or Persepolis, until it reached the bazaars of Istanbul, the merchants of Venice. It ran through deserts and oases. I'll get to see the Silk Road treasures of Iran, now once more opening to travellers like me. I'm starting to think that I may have actually been an Iranian merchant in a former life. And it ran through valleys and over mountain passes. From Alexander the Great to Genghis Khan, emperors and princes fought to control the Silk Road. It was worth fighting for. Along its many miles, there was money to be made. But the peoples on the Silk Road not only bought and bartered goods, they also exchanged ideas and techniques on which Western Europe would one day depend. Paper, gunpowder and musical instruments. The Silk Road cut across borders and brought cultures into contact and conflict. In this episode, I'll travel 2,000 miles in the footsteps of the ancient Chinese envoy who first made the Silk Road possible. I'll meet the goddess who discovered silk, and I'll find out that on the Silk Road, business didn't even stop for death. But he was expecting to collect on those loans in the afterlife. <laughs>